How's it going, everybody? Representative Tornecker here, and it's uh, one of my favorite things to do in the district, but really across Pennsylvania, is fishing. And I have a really great relationship with the Fish and Boat Commission, and with me today, I have the Executive Director, Tim Schaefer. So thanks for uh, joining me today. Thanks for stopping by. So we are at the outdoor show, and it's a great time to, to talk about fishing and talk about all things outdoors, but something I think is really great about our district is trout season. You know, we, we are a hub of great trout trout streams and, and just great uh, rivers and creeks for folks to go mm -hmm. fish in, the, the Yellow Breaches, the, uh, the, the Conewaga, all these great places. So it's that time of year. We've got the calls coming in already, trout schedules are out, yep. you know, what's going on with that? So stocking schedules are really easy to find, lots of places you can get them. Our website, fishandboat.com, our mobile app, Fishboat PA, or on your website, and thank you for posting that link there. Of course, and I know folks like those paper copies, but you, the most updated ones are the ones you check online, right? It is, you know, we've had some pretty mild weather, but you never know when a snowstorm is gonna kick up, maybe delay that stocking truck from Huntsdale, um, maybe postpone a stocking by a week, so always go to the online uh, schedule, they're updated in real time. And I know some of the first ones are right around the corner here at the end of February. I know in, yep. in Orangeville, uh, where they stock the Conewaga is, is one of the first ones I go to. It's very popular, so it's coming yep. soon, so make it, sure you keep, keep an eye out for it. It is. I mean, it's a big logistical undertaking. We stock 3.2 million trout statewide, um, and our cooperative nurseries stock another million trout. So getting them all in the water by opening day, we don't get all the 3.2 million. We do a lot of in-season stocking. But getting all the streams ready for opening day, big undertaking. You know, and I mentioned the Huntsdale State Fish Hatchery. I mean, what a gem in Cumberland County here. It's one of the most iconic and biggest hatcheries that we have. Um, a lot of the fish that will, folks, will be, well, really the fish people are catching here locally will come right from Huntsdale. And there's some huge, huge hogs there too. There, there are. Well, we put them in the water. And, and I'd say with that stocking schedule, we welcome the help. Again, we have a great crew. Um, at Huntsdale and at our hatcheries across the Commonwealth, but there's no way we could get that job done without volunteers. So when you go to the stocking schedule, you'll see what the time, uh, date, and location of the meeting location is. Come on out and join us. Uh, we have a safety brief briefing with our waterways conservation officer. Help us put the fish in the water. We'd love the, love the assistance. So stocking's coming up, so that mm -hmm. means fishing season's yep. right, trout season's right around the corner. Yep. So uh, the Youth Mentor Day is one of my favorite days where I take the kids out, yep. we all get their, their licenses so mm -hmm. that, um, you know, we buy them the, the license, yeah. you know, the dollar license so yep. that the fishing boats, you know, using that money for good. So uh, it's, it's one of my favorite days. So what are those dates? Sure, uh, March 25th is our Mentored Youth Trout Day statewide. We open trout season a week early for kids and their adult mentors. You mentioned you can either get, either get a volunteer youth permit or a volunteer youth fishing license. We reinvest those dollars, plus we get about five dollars in federal reimbursement back into youth programs. And it's, it's a good reminder that we don't get general fund tax revenue, we're a user-funded agency. Everything we do, every dollar we collect, goes back out into the water for the anglers and boaters of Pennsylvania. And that's very present in South Central Pennsylvania and definitely in the 193rd with Children's Lake, yep. There's uh, there's investment in in Adams County with yep. uh, some some fishing access in in, in, in the Big Liveville Arnsville area. Yep. So I mean you guys are doing really really great work. Thank you. So and then in addition to that 25th, then the big day is April 1st. It's a statewide opening day. We had traditionally had a single opening day statewide for about 20 years. During COVID, everything got out of whack. Um, we went back to a single opening day, and people really seem to like it. We got really good feedback on that. So we're sticking with it. Opening day of trout season this year will be go. April 1st uh, <laughs> statewide. Get out there and have a great time. Yeah, that's awesome. And some other changes that happened this year with uh, boating license. Yep. You want to talk briefly about that? Sure, yeah, so boat registration. So we had traditionally had, well, forever, um, we had had the boat registration period ended March 31st. It was really confusing for boaters. Sure. And so, you know, I'd sell you my boat. You're out the first time. You got a 23 sticker on it. And you're like, and you get stopped. You think, what the world am I being stopped for? Didn't realize the boat registration expired March 31st. So thanks to you and the legislature, um, that law got changed. It's now a calendar year boat registration. We're going to start to roll that out next year. Really nice customer service benefit for boaters. Yeah, and with boating comes life jackets, right? That's the most important thing. I always say if there's one thing you remember, wear your life jacket, particularly this time of year. Um, it may be a warm day in February or March, but that water is deadly cold. You know, we get these spikes in temperatures during the day, but the water temperatures don't change. We have a mandatory, mandatory life jacket wear from November 1st through April 30th, all canoes and kayaks, boats under 16 feet. 
Uh, it's really irrefutable. If you go in the water this time of year, you're probably not coming out. So please wear your life jacket. Yeah, a really simple thing to do. Yep. It's, it's it, you know, I wear my life jacket anytime I'm paddling. It's just, it's just part of my part of my outfit. Well, I know it still is winter, but spring is right around the corner. We've talked about trout season right around the corner. Stocking schedules are out. Stop by our office and or stop or go to Fishing Boats website. Very user friendly. You can buy your license there and everything, or go to your outfitters and still do that as well. But I want to thank you, Tim, for taking some time to, to talk with me about what's going on and for the Fish and Boat Commission, and thanks for all you do. Thank you, Torin. Thanks for stopping by. Awesome.